have a tendency to swoon. You have a what? Well, my... You have a what? Well, I said tendency. Yes, you did. Yeah. You are making choices. You don't have tendencies, you don't have habits, and you don't have patterns once you know you have them. A habit, a tendency, a pattern is something you do that you don't know you're doing. Once you know what's there, it's not a tendency, it's not a pattern, it's not a habit, it's a choice if you keep doing it. Right, you're right. And your definition of a pattern, your definition of a tendency, your definition of a habit <clears throat> is what allows you to keep blaming the habit for continuing to do the same thing. Because your definition of a habit has been that once you discover you have the habit, there now has to be some special process you need to go through to let the habit go. When in fact, the discovery of the habit is the end of the process. The habit's gone once you realize it's there. But it's still there. Because you're choosing it to be there. That's what we're saying. What we're saying is the fact that you keep doing it is no longer the product of habitual behavior. It's the product of choosing it because you have a belief that says that's the beneficial thing to do. And now it gives you an opportunity, once you bring it into conscious recognition, gives you an opportunity to explore what that belief must be and why you think that belief serves you. And to thus then choose an alternative if that's what you really prefer. But in order to choose the alternative, you have to identify what the definition is now that's making you continue to choose the thing you say you don't prefer as if it were the thing you did. Right. So again, what would you be getting out of the experience of victimization that would make you to continue to choose it? <clears throat> Sometimes, I'm not saying this is the case, sometimes it can be as simple as choosing something that is more familiar than what is unknown to you because you've attached a definition to the unknown that makes the unknown seem scarier than the thing you don't prefer because the thing you don't prefer is more comfortable and more familiar. And that might be enough to allow you to keep choosing the thing you don't prefer because you're so afraid to choose what you don't know. That's, that's accurate. All right. Then allow yourself to understand that you can change the definition of the unknown. Because there is absolutely, I guarantee you, there is absolutely nothing you will ever discover in the unknown that isn't simply more of yourself. You're the only thing that inhabits the unknown. That's it. So if you're afraid of yourself, you won't go there. But if you're not afraid to be who you really are, you will go into the unknown with open arms knowing that the unknown is nothing more than an exciting adventure of discovery of more of who you are. So when you define it that way and know that that's the definition that's true for you, you will then switch the priorities and you will see that going into the unknown isn't scary, it's actually more beneficial and you will move forward by acting on your excitement and no longer will you experience the idea of being a victim.